In my previous video, I reported that this young lady, Arielle, is accusing Deshae Frost of smashing her without permission while she was lit off a tequila shot. Deshae Frost did respond. He said, lying about S.A. because you thought your dude knew about me F you is crazy. So you wanted sympathy to cover up your regret. Also, why make a YouTube video with ads that you mainly have to put in to make money instead of going to the police? My legal team is already a root of suing you for defamation of character and I will be taking you to court because things like this messed it up for women who actually are victims of S.A. and my hearts are with them. Please go to the hospital and I make a YouTube YouTube video begging them to share the video so they don't collab with me instead of spreading awareness. Word around town, I'm not the only person she has lied and tried this on. So please people for the future creators, watch out for her. You said you didn't know what tension me and Wuda had, but in the messages sending blogs before I see them claim you don't care. There's a lot of loopholes in your story and you will be hearing from our legal team soon. These are messages after the night while she was texting me while I was in my room and she was in the living room. I'm definitely gonna come back though. So in the messages between Deshae and Ariel, Ariel is saying that she She's leaving because her nanny is sick. I guess she's saying that she's in the hospital so she want to see her for one last time. Then she said, I'm definitely going to come back though. Nah, it's cool. I'm going to book it. I could give you the money back though. Nah, you good. Do your thing for real. Then he booked her Uber. So after the intercourse, she sent him a blog post that says, Deshae tried to link up with everybody Wooda films with. This is when Wooda was going off on live after seeing Ariel and Deshae together. He actually went live, which the blog post posted. She said, I don't care though. He mad for no reason. Reason. And then he said, dude posted it. He hurt. Y'all leave your comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Kaisen had responded back to Glorilla and her goons. I'm trending chat. <laughs> Glorilla laughing at him saying he'll stab in jail is crazy. What? Hey, hey, bro. Don't let me assemble the mafia, bro. Oh my God, you would hate the internet. Don't let me assemble the mafia. Hey, bro. We, we, don't, we don't do no threatening. Let's not do no threatening, Glow. Okay. I'll you, Glow. Let's not do that, bro. <laughs> I come visit jail. I stab. <laughs> oh, he didn't threaten me. <laughs> that was that, that was a that was a. Uh, he said, "I come visit jail. I stab." <laughs> well, why you at it? Hit the cha cha cha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trolling, I'm trolling, bruh. Recently, Flo's brother Jay went off on live. Y'all know a lot of people have been coming for him because they felt like he betrayed his brother. He took FOE side when it came to the whole Karina situation without hearing what his brother had to say. Well, someone comment, I've unsubscribed to all you guys. You are the faker crew ever the way you did Flo. And here's Flo's brother's response. You are the faker. You gotta give a fuck, bitch. Huh? Huh? You gotta give a fuck. Fuck your comment. Fuck what you talking about. Get right with Flo. Nigga ain't nothing wrong with me and Flo. Royalty recently did a hot seat video with her boo thing Rico and he said this about CJ so cool. Do Rico hate CJ or do he just dislike his actions? I don't hate nobody and I love all his actions because all his actions and fuckery done brought me to the mental state of learning how to ignore people. I just had to get, I just had to get his, uh, his sense of humor. <laughs> so, ain't no, ain't no hate, ain't no love. It's nothing. Ever. It won't ever be nothing. Someone sent me receipts. Allegedly, Armand has a new boot in his recent vlog. Two. He forgot to edit her out okay. the background. Oh, Two. What up, man? Two. Oh. Okay. Oh, shit. I got, I got, oh. Two. Oh. Also, his friend while vlogging caught her on camera accidentally. Oh, you trade trailer, and then you got. I'm on one. You feel me? And then you got me. Ooh. Also, Armand's mom and sister have been liking a lot of her pictures, and she also recently liked the tweet that says, "Me and this dude wasn't even supposed to get this far." Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that.